and Sister Marian, and we converted to Islam. A very devoted Christian, a man ago. So when I was seven years old, my mother took me to the neighbor under the care of my neighbor, and my mom left me under the care of uh, my neighbor family. So my neighbor is the Catholic, so we used to pray rosary. When I was nine years old, my mother took me from my neighbor and bring me to my auntie. So I was in my auntie home when I was nine years old, 14 years old. So my auntie is a very devoted Catholic. So when I was under the care of my auntie, we used to pray for too. And all the kids we are celebrating, like the All Saints Day, and we used to cook some foods during All Saints Day. And my auntie told me, don't eat all, because you are going to left some for your grandmother. And I said, but she has already died 10 years ago. How can she eat this food? During the Easter season, my auntie told me, don't play every Friday, 3 p.m. Don't play, don't sing, don't smile, because Jesus, our God, is dead. In Manila, I work in one factory, that's a uh, export garment factory. Inside the factory, I meet uh, many Christians. Some are belong to other citizens. Some are born again. Some are El Shaddai, charismatic, open for Christ, open for Christ. So all of them I attended. And in Hong Kong, I told God because every Sunday is the Lord, that's my day off. So I kept attending the church. So I said the churches, dominated by uh, Australian pastor. But after one year, I observed that everyone is fighting each other, so I become different. So I go to Jesus Jesus' Lord Church and there I question them, how can you prove me that this Trinity is true, that they are one? Because she said that the Father is what? God? The Son is God? The Spirit is God? Then prove me that they are all God. And this leader of GIL, my leader of GIL, she told me, sister, don't ask, just believe in it. That is faith. So I said, how can I believe in it? How can I have more faith in it if I cannot understand? So one day, I met a Filipina and I said, oh, what is your address? She said, uh, I am Muslim, but don't be nosy, I am hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Because I am shy. Oh, never mind. Can you can you share with me about Islam? And she told me I trust you, so I don't know nothing. But I have the books. I can share with you. Then I told the that Filipina, please give me the books. <laughs> I am so very excited. And she gave me the book. This is uh, it's the Bible God's word. So when I finished to read that book, that is. Uh, the lecture of Brother Ali is that here it is. When I finished, I began to cry. Because you know, my, uh, my salvation in my employer, just to read the Bible, I am living under the blood. So I am sacrificing myself to read the Bible because I love to learn. And then I will discover it is full of error. So I cried and cried and cried, and I became so very confused. I am cooking, I am crying, I don't know why. This book I love so much, then I feel, I was cheated by so many people, and now this one, I have nothing to turn to but only to the Bible, but this one has also cheated me. I go to the entrance of the chapel, and I go to the chapel, which is the most Islam, Then I began to post some message. Anyone who is willing to help me, please help me, because I am in Hong Kong and I am interested to learn Islam, but I don't know where is most market. So someone replied, maybe from USA, and uh, oh, sister.
so very nice. They give my email to the sister in Lebanon and the sister in Lebanon calls everyone. That is everyone and sister Iman calls me and they to come here. So on that day that I found the mosque, I'm so very glad. At that day, I took my shahada. So when I go back to my employer's home, because my employer is a devoted Christian, and the reason why they hired me is because I am a devoted Christian. During the interview, they asked me, what is your religion? I said, Christian. And I talked to my employer during the interview, that I know, sir, that I am a servant, and I will not be greater than you. And you will not be also greater than my God. So I have the responsibility to you, but more, I have the responsibility to my God to create you and me. So if you will not go, if you will not allow me to go to church, I will not sign a contract with you. So he hired me, he calls me again, you are so that very lucky, I have chosen you. I can hear a lesser day than you, but I've chosen you because you know my, my employer is uh, looking for someone like you. So we sign a contract and I work. So I'm working as a Christian. And they allow me to go to church every Thursday, even three hours. Say, never mind, don't go, don't do anything, just go to church. Because he is a devoted Christian. And here it is, I am now a Muslim. Every Sunday he is asking me, where did you go? From Moscow. What is that? Is that a Christian church? No, it's about the stuff. And my employer began to become very, very angry. You know, I against this love. I really don't like the Muslims. At this point of marry, marrying many, at this very point, I against. So last Sunday, my employer asked me again because he already forbidden me, don't go to mosque, don't go to Catholic church. Then I told to my boss, surely I will not go to Catholic church, but I'm prepared to go to mosque. Then, this Sunday, last Sunday, he began so very angry with me and told me, better for you to find another employer. I cannot accept Islam in this house. I cannot accept Muslims inside my house. Better go and find another employer. I told to my boss that losing my job will not make me regret, but losing my soul make me so regret. They said, let out all your books, oh, including the Holy Quran, all my books from the mosque. Head out from my house. Your books make our home dirty. You know, it's like a bomb, but I need to be patient because I don't want to dishonor the entire Islam through my action. Because I know that every speech that we are going to talk is part of our action. And every action that we are going to make is part of our religion. So tonight, my employer, my boss, my uh, male employer comes, and in the morning I talk to my, my boss, I said, Sir, can uh, you give me a reference letter this coming Sunday, because I'm going to find another employer, because you told me last, last night when you are so very angry, to find another employer, so I need a reference letter. And he smiled at me very sweet. <laughs>
tolerance. So you are my employer, sir. I will pay you. Mr. House, you have the right what you want to do. So you are my employer. I will take out. But when I am packing the books inside my bag, you know, I am crying. Okay, I will take you out, but I will not take you out from my heart. I will take you out from this home. I will not take you out from my heart. And I am thinking, my sir wants me to leave. But he don't want me to eat. It's not like, like that. Mm. He wants me to see living, but he don't want me to eat. Because my food, the food of my soul, what do you want to want? He wants to see me alive, but he wants to take my soul. Mm. So I tell you, this is it. We must fight. And when the, the sand opened the television, I saw the, what is happening in Japan. Because when my my employer talked to me, okay, Cherry, you will not go up there and have a this house and pay for your daughter. So you will stay, you can earn money. And I pay for your daughter, you can earn money, but take out the books. Hmm. So I must choose between money or the books. I am thinking about this money or the books. And sometimes I think, yeah, I have the right, he has the, the point that I might be angry with that uh, job. But when I saw that what is happening in Japan, that they are all dying, this is it. Hmm. I can choose when I am going to fight. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next year. But I said, this is the best time to fight for my people. When I saw that everyone is dying in uh, Japan. This is time. Maybe tomorrow will be too late for you. My eagerness to know the teaching of real God continued, and I proved that the confirmation from the Holy Quran, what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 4, verse 10, worship Lord your God and worship Him only. I want to be free from the world and be at peace. What I want now is to multiply my faith and stand with it until my last breath. One, to practice Islam to feel in reality what it contains. I believe that my ancestors from Adam to Jesus, they are belong to Islam, which means religion of a person who worship the only one God. This is a Muslim in the sense of, Jesus is a Muslim in the sense of worshiping only one God. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm already decided to find a Muslim employer. If I cannot find in Hong Kong, I'm willing to fly to another country just to feel what is my heart needs. This is the first time I begin to learn to live and die for my God. Since I started Islam and accepted it, it was true, I begin to fear God wholeheartedly. No matter what may happen, if my God is false, I will fail. I will doom to destruction. But I know and I believe that God is one. He is true. He will give me permission to live and continue my aim to convey the message. I love your family. The message has come in your home. You and my God is the living witness that I have done my duty as a believer. May my God remember me and you on Judgment Day. The decision now is yours. I love you all, our family.